Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Sheva Early, a craft doctor, and I'm here with today's video. I just got this iris folding card kit in the mail, and um, it's on the auto ship. These are auto ship boxes. This is box number 46, and um, this is my last box because I continue to get these boxes and. I'm not enjoying them as much as I thought I would. And so I like their kits and all of their stamp sets, but the boxes are just, they're like, I think these are $30. And I just don't like them. <laughs> I think that maybe I'm expecting something that I shouldn't be expecting, but let's see what's in here. Okay, these are the gems, beautiful gems, love them. I love getting the little blingage because the blingage really adds something to your card. And if you know me, I always try to put some bling on my cards. Iris folding template. And so you get these templates to tell you where to lay the paper I believe I really don't know I don't know anything about iris iris folding but I think that's what this is um this is where you put your paper okay let's keep on going assorted ribbon we know we're gonna get some ribbon in in our box so we have three colors Normally we get three sizes with three colors, but we only got one this time. Super cute colors though. My lights are so... Yeah, that's a better blue. A real pale blue, this purple, and a pink. Then we have the clear stamps. And these are sentiments. Sentiments. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. I've seen that somewhere just recently. Where flowers bloom, so do hope. Friendship is a flower that blooms in all seasons. Okay, I can't see that little stuff. Thank you for all. Thank you for, with all of my heart. I like that. Thank you with all of my heart. I haven't seen that one. I don't think before. Okay. Then we get the blank card bases, these four by sixes. How I many you get? Two, four, six of them. And then you get card panels. I think these are just plain card. Yeah, these are just plain card. So you get six by sixes, and I would imagine those are five by fives. Five by five. So that's six by six and five by five. I'm gonna put these back in here because I want to get them mixed up with um, envelopes. I mean, card bases. Okay. And then, of course, these must be the five by five card bases. And I think you get six of those also. Two, four, six. Yep. I do love their card bases because they're pretty thick. Um, and then paper strip pad. Okay, so you get strips. All the different colors with the strips. These got to be for, I would imagine, for the leaves. Yep, they're for the leaves, paper strips. I really don't know a lot about iris folding, so... But you got the green, you got the mauve, and you got the purples. Okay, that's your, your strips. <clears throat> I just want to put these back in here because I don't want to mess them up. 
Okay. And then this is, oh, envelopes. So this will be four by four, um, the four by six for four by six envelopes. And these are the five and a half by five and, or yeah, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So these are your envelopes. And this is your metal dies. Metal dies. Oh, it, these cuts out cut out the shapes that your stencil will work with. So once you lay out all your papers, um, you would cut this all out. Just look. Oh, you would cut this out and cover up the papers. So this you put them down per this and then you cut out the fur top layer okay yeah, I got you okay I got you that's what you do with those and then this must be paper yep color card stock Color. Oh, this green is really pretty. Like this green, and then we have a peach color, purple color, and this off white bluish sky blue. I would imagine this is like a sky color. How many you get in? A two, four, six, eight of those. Okay, so that's what comes in your iris kit. Um. I don't know anything about this type of thing so I don't even need to put that back in there I don't know anything about the magic or, or the iris folding but I would imagine that the strips let's let's see what we can accomplish here this is very small so let's see if this is oh this is about even bigger I mean even smaller um yeah this is tiny <laughs> this makes a double this makes a double uh piece of paper hmm. i got to investigate on the iris folding kit because i'm thinking i don't know any about thing about this i'm at a loss y'all i'm at a loss I love this dies. I love the dies, but the iris folding, I'm really at a loss. Let me pause this video and go look up this. Okay, I went and watched um, how this has been done. And this is the basic for this is you take your die and you cut out whatever shape it is. So I cut out the flower since it has the least amount of um, iris things. And then you take your card front and you... Uh, cut it out so this is the, the front you this is the front you take this and you lay it down on um, your base All right am I doing that straight yeah you lay that down first of all let me line this up because I can't see straight And then you lay this right on here. Like these. Like that. And then I'm going to just take some tape. And I'm going to tape it down. So it won't move. I'm just taking some spare tape I have. Then you take your tape gun or whatever. And where's one? One is right here. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to put some tape right in this area. Probably best to use something smaller than this. And then you take your colors, which is these strips, the paper strips. And I'm going to just grab the ones that's pink. There. OK. 
okay? And I'm going to grab a few of these pink ones, and you fold it in half. And you don't have to score with a scoreboard, and because it don't have to be precise, precise or whatever. You just fold these little strips in half-ish. And where's my bone folder here? Take your bone folder and kind of give them a crease so they can have a nice crease on them, right? And then you take them, and this says number one. Y'all probably can't see it. Let me bring it out a little bit more. That says number one. Let me push this up so you can see it more. And then you take this and you lay it right right where that line is, number one. And then you come in and you snip that off. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna snip this at an angle like that. So then you're covering up basically number one, and then that's just three, four. Where's my number two? Here, that's number two. So I'm gonna use another color. Um, I'm gonna use this one. And these papers are double-sided, y'all. I would probably say to pick your papers first and fold them all. Or fold, you know, some of them. So you're not sitting there every time folding. Okay? And so this is two. So I'm going to take my tape runner. I'm just gonna, you know what, and just add some tape all over. That'll s speed up, I think, the process a little bit more. There. And then we're gonna take this and make sure that your fold, make sure that your fold, this piece is laying towards your item like that and then I'm gonna come in and snip that off okay <clears throat> and then three is over here I'm just gonna lay this down right there and I'm gonna cut that off three and four is down here and so I'm just going to take this and put over four. Oh, you know what it needs? Let's tape. I know I got some smaller tape runners, but okay. So this is four. That's gonna go right tape down right there. And then I'm gonna snip this off so it's not showing where those leaves go. Four. And then five is here. So I'm just gonna lay some tape on top of that one. And lay down five. And then cut that. And then six is here. Let's see if I have enough for six. I'll go here. Yep, that's six. And then seven go here, so I need another one. Well, I could say once you practice folding them, they you get a little bit easier. Okay, and then what can I Lay some tape on that, and this is number seven, right there. And I guess I can honestly say this is not going to be the most beautiful thing on the back side. Seven, then eight is here, so we're going to take this piece.
and we're gonna lay eight right across there. That's eight. And we're gonna snip this. And then nine is here. So I'm gonna add some tape across there. And nine is here. That's nine. Right there. And then 10 is here. So we're gonna just take this and lay it across there. So now we'll put this across 10. and this is 11 and so we want this to be right there at 11 oh I guess it needs some tape on this edge to make it stick it's 11 that's 11 Wait, I need to, there we go. 11, and then 12 is here, so I need another one of them. Okay, so this is 12 here, so I'm going to put a layer of tape right across here. And that's 12. Okay, I need tape right here because this is 13. Oh, I didn't put no tape up there. I need tape up here. This is 13. I need there's tape. No, there's no tape there. Okay, then this is 14 there. 14. Fourteen. And this is 15 there and put some tape right here because this is 16 that you're covering up right there that's 16 so that's all of them um that's 16 and then this is 23 24 20 oh because you got a line of them right here i'm like 15 in in this piece here is 17 so what i have to do is i need to kind of nip up this so you can see 17 so 17 through 33 is down there and so i'm just going to take <clears throat> a green one yeah, I'm just tearing these open. I'm gonna take this green one and fold it like fold it like that. Okay, and then this goes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a little bit just so it can kind of fit in that area. Okay. And so we need tape to run down here and then down here. And then this will go right there. And you know what? He it needs to go under the 17. I need to go right under there and lay 
Ooh, pulled it. You have to go right under there and then lay it down like there that's 17 through whatever and then these are some extra ones to uh, I would imagine we could do it um, with these green ones so fold it this fold it this This is that new bone folder that I showed you. It is really, I love these bone folders, especially because they have a lot of width and they feel very comfortable. Okay, so this will go here, there. And then I'm kind of wondering, I should put it this way probably. I'm just going to put some tape on that. Like that. And put this one this way. <coughs> like that. And then 28 will go this way. Ooh, ooh. Pull that up. 28 will go this way. Stay there. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> and then we need one more. Okay, and then, sorry y'all, that's the real five message that I need to answer. I already got some tape that way, and I'm going to put this one this way, <clears throat> and then cut that, and then let's see what we got. that's cute that is super cute y'all yeah what I need to do is snip right here which will be right underneath these I need to take this off and I want to I want to get right in here and snip my leaf and then go behind here and cut it straight oh, yeah okay and then let's just put it back down here and put this back I do oh, here some other piece. I'm gonna just tuck this one. I think you're supposed to tuck it underneath. There. There we go. Nope. Something about this is not right. Oh, you're not supposed to see that part. Let's just cover that up. There we go. Oh, cutie, 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 cutie. Okay, cutish, cutish, cutish. Um, now what I need is some foam tape because I'm, I'm imagining this cannot sit flat, and so this. Cut some of these dots up. And put, put 
put some of these dots on here. this at the bottom and I'm just cut off a little bit of the edge and put it right here this one on this side like that okay and then we'll take this four by six card base and we'll put this card base I mean yeah this right on the card base come on put that right down there and then you can decorate it all up maybe take some of the strips maybe and put it right here and put a sentiment hey let's do that let's let's put this piece and we're just gonna Put this right here and then I'll just cut that cut that and that don't look so plain and then we can stamp a sentiment across here and Let's take some of these, put some blingage on here. Okay, some little blingage, and we're gonna put a sentiment down here, and let's for that. Can we? Yeah, let's put some blingage like this. Just a little bit of something, just a little bit. I really wish. We don't want to leave this this little area look blank. Look blank. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's see what what our stamp sets look like. Um, I love you yesterday, love you still. Let's celebrate if friends were flowers. I, I like that one. Let's grab a quick piece of paper. You know what? I have this from the other day. And let's stamp this. One shot go, so I gotta put enough ink on here. But that's a one shot go if I'm not using my stamp positioner. Boop. There's tape on here. So, what I was using it for before. Oh, 
it worked it it got it okay. it's super cute i like that sentiment don't y'all okay so let me get my thingy to cut this here this is a total spontaneous card Get as close as we can right there and line this up. There, and a little bit more cut from this top piece without cutting it off. really want to leave that bottom part on oh, this part oh I know what to do with it okay like that and then we can take this that too big that's too big for that i did all of that for nothing okay let's find one that's a little smaller did all that work for nothing because that is totally too big this is better and you know what is even better this one the one i originally liked the thank you one. I'm going to put this one on here. It's truly only get a one shot wonder, baby. Because the other side got the other message. I remember a long time ago, somebody would be like, this is magic paper. And I'm like, what? And it's because they, if, when they messed up, they just flipped it over. <laughs> Now, there go my sentiment. I'm just going to cut this down. Yes. Like that. Take this. Now, let's clean up all of this mess. And we're gonna just pop this baby right there. So let's pop them, pop it up. Let's give it some dimension. since these are so tiny and maybe one here let's move that one over a little bit okay and we'll pop this right there <laughs> that is super cute where's my bling y'all oh right in front of my face what i want to do is Uh, is that too big? Yep. We'll take this one and we'll put that right there. And then I'll take this one and put it right in the A. You don't want to help me out, do you? Flip over into this A. It's sticking everywhere, but where it's supposed to stay there. There we go. 
I need another one because now it needs one in the U. I mean the O. Right there. Yeesh. Come on. Look at that. I love this. This is so cute. I'm not really into iris folding. This is the very first time I've ever done anything like this. and But it turned out pretty good. What do y'all think? Let me know. Let me know what you think about this. And let me know if you have this kit. I really need to know if, if you have this kit. All right? Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next one.